it is important that we do so because it is the state of emergency that gives us as a government the constitutional authority to literally suspend some of the uh, constitutional rights of the individual. Uh, now, I know that um, our political opponents have argued that we should utilize the Infectious Disease Act, that we should um, implement the measures under that act. But the reality is some smart, smart lawyer will obviously take us to court. But we know with the kind of constitutional protections that the state of emergency provides that, um, you know, in that particular case, the measures that we would have introduced in order to protect the population, that they have the backing of the Constitution. I mean, the Constitution um, provides for some, uh, let's say, derogations of um, constitutional rights in the interest of public health. Now, there are some, too, who may argue that because we've had zero case for the last um, two weeks, that perhaps we need to remove the restrictions. Now, that would be a big mistake. I mean, having zero case doesn't mean that COVID does not exist in Antigua and Barbuda. Uh, it is zero laboratory confirmed um, case, but we could well have individuals who may be infected, but they have not been tested. And we could also have the importation of the virus within the coming days and weeks. So this is not a time for us to sit on our laurels and to claim victory. It's a time for us to remain vigilant. I mean, those in opposition, they can continue to second guess and to criticize. At the end of the day, they have the luxury so to do. They don't have any responsibility to anyone. As a government, um, we have to continue to take prudent measure, measures to protect livelihoods and to protect lives. Hmm. And we recognize that, um, you know, we need to keep these measures in place. And in order to sustain the measures, then evidently we need to have the state of emergency in place. So what um, our political opponents are arguing, they're arguing a legal point hmm. as to whether or not we should be, uh, if, the, if these measures to protect the population should be supported by law or by the Constitution. We have said, look, we want constitutional protections to avoid, you know, I mean, any frivolous litigation, especially uh, by those in the UPP, um, those lawyers that Chuck Woods on. Hmm. You recognize that um, they have been literally spoiling for fight 